Hey friends and filmmakers, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and this is Catherine the 19th, the channel where we love to talk all things filmmaking and travel. Today, I wanna to talk to you about Adobe's new app called Rush. Many of you may have heard of it already because everybody who's at Adobe Max has been making videos about this new app and addition to the Adobe Creative Cloud. And I wanna talk about how it may or may not be useful to YouTubers. Just a bit of background, Adobe did release Rush kind of marketed specifically to YouTubers as an easier editing software for creating videos. There is a mobile version and a desktop version. I haven't tried the desktop version yet because from what I've seen, I don't think it's gonna be that useful to me, but more on that later. At first, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't that interested in the idea of this pared down light version of Premiere because I've gotten very comfortable editing in Premiere and I wouldn't wanna give up any of the features or flexibility that you have from the full program, but after downloading the app onto my phone and thinking about it more in terms of a mobile editing alternative, I'm starting to see a lot of benefits with this new app. When it comes to the simple editing functions that most YouTubers need, Rush is great. It allows you to cut together different video clips, you can add a voiceover, you can add different audio and video tracks, you can add titles, transitions, and there's even different filters or color grades that you can automatically add in the app. So who is this new application useful for? Honestly, I think this is gonna be a great option for brand new YouTubers who have never tried out Premiere Pro before. I know when I first started on Premiere Pro, it was super intimidating because there are just so many features to wrap your head around. So starting with something that's a little bit easier to understand, I think will make the learning curve a little less steep. But what I'm really mostly excited for about this new app is the mobile version because I honestly think it is a game changer in terms of mobile editing solutions. The reason why I'm so pumped about this as a mobile editing app is because I have tried to look at a lot of different apps over the past couple months, thinking about ways that I can more quickly and easily edit Instagram stories and IGTV videos. Because in the past, my workflow for that has been recording things on my phone, generally in portrait mode, importing them to Premiere Pro on my computer via AirDrop, and then exporting the clip, sending it back to my phone, and then running it through Cut Story to get 15 second clips. It's kind of a lot. It's a long process for something that should be really simple, snappy, and easy to get done just for the sake of you know, social media content. So after I got a little frustrated with that long process, I started seeking out apps that I could use right on my phone just to make simple cuts and edits to what I was gonna be posting on Instagram stories. And the really frustrating thing is that every app I came across only let you edit in horizontal, in 16 by nine. And it's like, what? And hardly anybody is watching widescreen video on their phones anymore. Everybody is watching videos like this, not like this. So it was so shocking to me to find that there was this huge gap in the market when it came to portrait video mobile editing. What I love so much about the Rush app is that there's a very simple, clear option that you can easily pick if you're gonna edit horizontal, vertical, or square. So it seems like it knows already that you're either making this for your Instagram feed, Instagram stories, or YouTube. And I love that it gives you those super easy aspect ratio options and you don't have to do any other kind of confusing, weird stuff that I used to try to try to get stuff ready for Instagram stories, so. So far, the only complication that I have found when trying to edit stuff in the Rush app on my phone is that there's not really an easy way to add background music. I think this might just be a fault of the iPhone, to be honest, because there's no real way to save music locally onto your phone other than through like Apple Music. If I try to go on the Epidemic Sound website on Safari and try to download a track, it doesn't let me because there's nowhere for it to really store it on my phone. I think probably Android devices would not have this issue. I'm just gonna guess, I don't know for sure. So at this point, the only way that I can see really adding background music is two ways that are kind of sketchy-ish ways to do it. One is clicking the voiceover record and literally recording a song playing out loud. Definitely not a great option. The audio quality is gonna be bad. The second option is doing a screen recording of a YouTube video playing a song. I try to do a screen recording of a song playing in the Epidemic Sound site on Safari and it wouldn't record any audio. So. At this point, I think it's really hard to add any kind of interesting background music in an easy way on Rush. So let me know if I'm just totally missing something, but as far as I know, there's no way for you to save just audio files 
onto your phone to import audio. Overall, I'm really excited about this app. I would definitely recommend checking it out if you already have a Creative Cloud subscription. You can download it for free on your phone. Obviously, it's not free. You're paying for it with your subscription, but... Since I already am a Creative Cloud subscriber, it was really easy to just throw it on my phone. Maybe I will check it out on my computer in the future if any of you are interested in it and wanna see future tutorials or you know whatever in Rush, I can check it out. But for now, I'm really excited about it as a mobile editing solution. And I think it's gonna be a great gateway into Adobe products for aspiring YouTubers and new content creators who have never tried out Premiere Pro before. All right, thanks so much for watching my video about Adobe Rush CC. I hope you found this interesting or helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna download Rush and try it out. And if not, what are you currently using to edit and what's your process with that? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of my future videos. You can click right here, just click on my face, hit subscribe, and uh, check out this video if you haven't seen it because I bet it's awesome and you'll want to go watch it. So just click it. Click right here. Don't worry about watching the end of this video. Just go watch it. All right. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.